night before going to bed, Marie sat dreamily by her window and gazed at the Nymphenburg Castle, golden in the setting sun. Fountains, lakes, and canals adorned the gardens, and swans floated like kings on shimmering water. One warm June evening, Marie delighted in watching the guests of Prince Maximilian arrive in splendid carriages. After the visitors were inside, music floated from the castle windows. The sound was as luminous as the light of the moon and as intoxicating as the scent of summer flowers. Its beauty lured her out of the house and across the velvety lawn to the entrance of the castle. Dressed in her nightgown, she tiptoed up the stairs of the palace and peeked inside the window. A young boy was playing the piano. The audience, the paintings, the sculptures, even the enormous chandeliers seemed to listen, enchanted. 